Merry Christmas! Isn't Christmas exciting? It's time for us to celebrate Jesus' birthday. We're going to learn more about Jesus' birth in just a little bit. But first, let's worship God by singing. way to tell God that we love him. And one way that we can know God better is by reading our Bible. Let's listen to a verse now from the book of the Bible called Galatians. Can you say that? Galatians. Galatians. Hi guys, welcome back. Let's say Galatians 4, 4 through 5. When, when the, the time, time came, came to completion, completion God sent his, his son born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. Now let's say it while we blink our Christmas lights. When the time came to completion, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. As we celebrate Christmas this month, ugh, let's open our Bible storybook to learn more about when Jesus was born. One day, God sent an angel named Gabriel to a town called Nazareth. The angel went to visit a young woman named Mary. Mary was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph. The angel said to Mary, Be happy. God is happy with you. He is with you. <gasps> Mary was afraid and did not understand. Why would God be happy with her? She hadn't done anything special. Do not be afraid, the angel said. He told Mary that she was going to have a very special baby. The baby's name would be Jesus. 
Mary asked the angel, How can that happen? The angel said, God will be the father of the baby. The baby will be God's son. Then the angel said, God can do anything. He told Mary that her relative Elizabeth was pregnant, even though she was old and did not have any children. May everything happen just as you said, Mary said. Then the angel left. Mary hurried to Elizabeth's house. When she arrived, the baby inside Elizabeth leaped for joy. The Holy Spirit filled Elizabeth and she said, What an honor, Mary! You and your baby will be blessed. Mary was so happy. She praised God with a song about how great God is. Mary knew families in the future would say she was blessed because God was going to do great things through Jesus. God would keep his promise to Abraham to bless the whole world through his family by sending Jesus. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for three months. Then she went home. Joseph found out Mary was going to have a baby, but Joseph knew it was not his baby. Mary and Joseph were not married yet. Soon after Joseph thought these things, an angel appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, the angel said, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Mary is going to have a son. Name him Jesus because he is going to save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did just what the angel said. He married Mary, and when she had a son, Joseph named him Jesus. Many of God's prophets talked about Jesus before he was born. Everything they said about Jesus came true. Before God created the world, he planned to send Jesus. Jesus came to do God's plan to rescue people from sin. God chose the perfect family for Jesus. And God helped Mary and Joseph by sending an angel to talk to them about the things they were scared of. God is always in control and we can trust him because he is good. Families, it's so important to teach our kids to tell others about Jesus. And during this time of year, a great way to do that is through Christmas cards. I want to encourage you to make cards at home, whether it be through construction paper or maybe you go and purchase cards, write Bible verses, write notes of encouragement that point people to Jesus and send them to your family or maybe take them around your neighborhood and pass them out to your neighbors. This is a great way to help your kids go and tell others about who Jesus is and why he has come. Thanks for joining me today. Merry Christmas, and I can't wait to see you next time.